Well, we're off on another metal detecting adventure today, and I'm with my friend Rich and his friend Tom, and we're at his property somewhere in the Shenandoah Valley. Now, I was here um, not too long ago. You made a video an old cemetery, and I found a really cool Spanish silver coin from like the 1820s that I gave to him, and a few other things. But today, what we're going to do is we're going to go back to that area where I found the coin. And search that really well because I suspect there's probably a home site there. And then we're going to go work our way up to the top of the hill where Rich found a big chunk of melted lead that looks suspiciously like a rat tail spoon. I'm by myself right now because, well, I forgot my camera in the truck. And uh, we're like hunting like a mile down the road, at least it felt like that. So I had to come back and get it. I haven't found anything yet, but I think we're going to soon. Oh yeah, I also brought my, uh, I'm also wearing my steel-toed boots because I forgot to put my digging boots in the truck. So every time I swing anywhere near them, it goes beep, beep. You know, I like to wear steel toes when I'm cutting wood, so that's why I have them on today, but I'm not cutting wood. <laughs> oh yeah, um, Rich, who had just started, well, has a YouTube channel. He's got some really uh, cool uh, game cam videos. Uh, bear and stuff that are on this property um, It's just kind of started to do metal detecting too. So I'm gonna put a link to his YouTube channel in the video Description or probably in the pinned comment so you can check him out too And please check him out and subscribe if you, you know if you like him. I know you will but he's a really really good guy uh, He was back here one day after I found that coin and He uh, showed me some of the things he had he didn't have a lot, but he had some really old nails rose head nails uh, if we find one i'll show you how you can tell a rose head nail those are very early nails all hand forged so we've got about another 30 minutes of walking oh really about three and uh, we'll get back at it well we'll start we'll see you then this is uh, a hand forged iron item of some kind that would have probably been driven into wood right there and uh, yeah, it has an eyelid on it. But that's hand forged, I just love it. I absolutely love that thing. That's why I think we're getting really close to something. I'm hearing a lot of little nails and it's actually getting a little bit more concentrated in this area. Um, the other guys I think went further up the hill already. I have to call them when I find something. So. <laughs> we find two things, if it's close together, that are old, we'll call them. So I have my first uh, non-iron find, and it's this little button right here. This could be a pretty old button, pre-Civil War, but it does have an iron back on it. There's no shank. That's broken off. Um, so, let me tell you what I've been doing. There's been a fair amount of iron, a couple places I want to go back to and search a little bit closer. But if you look down here, what we're actually on is kind of like a little ridge like this that drops down to the creek. Now, I've just been going back and forth each time I go across, listening for concentrations of iron. On some bones. Look. Are they human? Maybe from a drunk hunter. Fell out of a tree. <laughs> We're pretty unlikely. Some more, oops, those are my steel toes. Some more over here. Let's look at them. He's, a, I'm sure, deer. Really like, I guess they've been out here for a while. That's a pretty bone. Wow, see these skulls. Someone probably shot it and got away and died. That's normally what happens. But you know what? Let me tell you something. I learned something this morning. I learned via the internet that it is not illegal to own human remains. Um, there's some controversy right now, where there was, I guess it was a year ago, where they're selling a skull that was found in a, a garden back in like the 1940s that came from the Civil War and they were selling it in an auction <laughs> so <laughs> the, kind of weird bump on it but yeah you can have bones in your collection there is an exception to that rule though I guess I, should, <laughs> I guess I should say that you can't have Indian remains you know like the North American Indians you can't have any of their bones now you can have my granddaddy's bones but not their granddaddy's so we're back at that flat spot from the last video uh, when we were up here where I found the horseshoes 
and uh, there's a lot of iron in here and as it turns out that's where Rich found his piece of lead so that's why we're here. You say you found something? I did. Awesome. I'm assuming that's that definitely looks like the end of a spoon. Oh door. yeah, yeah, that's definitely, that's old. Yeah, yep, that's pewter. There's piece. more pieces of it in there. Here's there you go. Yeah, that's an old one right there. Yeah, so you got a lot of activity. All of us are hitting stuff. So yeah. Something was happening up here. Yeah, definitely. What do you it was funny, that when we first came up here, there was that little flat spot right there. The last time we were here, we were thinking that there must have been something going on. We looked all around and didn't find anything about iron, but uh, you're on it, man. Well, this Next is one's going to be a giant silver coin, this, this, right? Or a spoon. <laughs> That's good, man. I like it. That's a good sign. I'm good. I'm good. He's got a uh, part of an old pewter spoon, probably dates to the 1700s, maybe early 1800s. Good sign. I have a little signal right here um, under this rock. So I'll go ahead and dig this one too. I think it's right in that little crevice, probably. <laughs> At least I hope. Hope it's not under, under. Yeah, so it came out already. What I'm going to do just kind of shake it like that and hopefully it has fallen out of here. So if it hasn't, it's going to be junk. Alright, so it's in that loose dirt. Yeah, it's a nice little squeaker. Oh, there it is. What is it? It is a rivet. That's a brass rivet. Really hard to say how old that is. That could be from the, you know, 1800s or early 1900s, but good sign. <laughs> right next to the flat spot we were at last time. So you have something, you think? Probably in the looster, I would think. It's a pinpointer. I almost do it. What is it? It's your wedding band. <laughs> Just kidding. Yeah, a, a, lot of, a lot of times it is. Yes, in a glove. All right. So you got it in your hand. What is it? Ah, more lead? More, yeah, more le melted lead. Right, That's a good sign. Sure. I mean, you, you think, oh, it's just melted lead, but that tells us stuff was yep. going on here. People were here melting lead. Mm -hmm. So, awesome. That's what it is. It's smelters. It's nice and heavy. Huh? Right. Maybe they're making spoons. Right. <laughs> I think we'll find something good here in a minute. Well, there's not a ton of iron. It's uh, some. <laughs> it was my steel toes again. What do you have? That's, that you know, a handful of hinge. That's that, where was, it's, uh, that was down there pretty good. Nice. Pretty good depth, yeah. So. What did you find? A hinge? I broke it. Uh, yeah, some type of hinge thingy. Okay. Just, you know, that would go on a door or whatever. But yeah, oh, that's we'll, old, we'll man. That's video. definitely right in with this hang stuff. On. I haven't really uh, talked about my coin on my camera. I was just talking to Rich, showing him what it is. Well, I don't know if it's a coin. Now, this is the hole I found it in. Um, well, I don't know if I showed you this yet, but I think this is a silver coin. It's very, very thin. It's too thin for a button, and it has the shape of a coin, so I suspect it is, although there's no uh, type of design on it whatsoever. Once that's a moon. Is that a moon? Uh, I don't know. Maybe it is something cut out to look like a... Yeah, that's cut, isn't it? Somebody cut that. Yeah, that's what happened. I have to think about this, but that almost looks like a, a profile. Could be wrong. Before I put this away, I went ahead and cleaned it up a little bit more. And if you look, there's four holes in it. And I really kind of do believe that is a profile of like a man with a beard, perhaps. So that's... um. That's a piece of art right there. Made out of an old coin, I would suspect, an old Spanish coin. That's Rich over there digging something. Uh, see that tree stand there? That's one of his tree stands. And if you check his channel out, he's actually got bears climbing the tree looking at it. So make sure you check his channel out. I have a decent signal right here. On and off decent. I thought we'd go ahead and look at it together since it's a, uh, yeah. Um, we're not really digging too much junk in here. So I'm hoping this is going to be a nice old something good. Yeah, I'm pretty I'm pretty comfortable with that. Down to two bars. I mean, there are shotgun shells in this area. It could be that. 
but I don't think it is. I think it's something colonial. Maybe it's colonial gold. Pretty small, I do believe. All right, I should have gotten it, I guess. Oh, I just stuck myself in the eye with a stick. Oh. Ah. Yeah. I'm, <laughs> I'm definitely going to have a bloodshot eye tomorrow. Oh, Jesus, the water. <sighs> when you're in the woods like this, a lot of times it's good if you wore, uh, if you can wear like glasses, safety glasses, but I can't stand safety. I used to wear glasses like 24 7 when I was a kid. But I had the laser surgery 30 years ago and I don't have to anymore. Uh, but when you wear safety glasses, they get, for me anyway, they fog up and stuff, so I try to avoid them if I can. And I still have my eyes, so I guess I'm kind of lucky in that respect. You just have to be really careful, that's all. Alright, so whatever it was, I don't have my pinpointer today either, because it's with my other stuff, with my boots. Alright, let's listen again. Yeah, still in a hole. Nice squeak, so we're going to go ahead and keep digging. I think it's probably right about here. So we're going to pull this to the back, to the, and you know what, I'm going to break this branch. Well, that doesn't stick me in the eye. And uh, that's what deer eat, by the way, mostly like what they would call browse. And I stick myself in the eye again. And this is what we call browse right here, you know, the stuff that deer really like to eat. If we don't get it this time, I am going to have to turn the camera off because we're down to the clay layer and it's going to get hard digging through these roots. All right, here we go. Hopefully we got it. Nope. Yep, so it's right down in here. Still down down there deeper. I'm going to turn the camera off and I'll show you what it is in a minute. So I finally got it out of the hole. It was actually quite deep down in the clay. So I'm thinking it's going to be old. There's nothing there, so. I haven't looked at it. Number 53. So it's not a coin. All right, do you see it? Not in there. Not in there. Oh, this better be something good. <laughs> not, not a horseshoe anyway. Alright. Uh, letting the anticipation build up. Whoops. I think I moved it. Yeah, it's a shotgun shell. Look. Right there. Hey, a lot of work for a shotgun shell. Woo-wee. Let's go ahead and dig this signal together. It's different than most of the signals I've been getting. Uh, I know it's not a shotgun shell. It's too high. Could be a rifle cartridge. Um, but let's find out together. Uh, you know what? I better move that shovel back just a little bit more. Wait, there we go. All right. So I cleared the leaves away so I can get a better hear for it. Nice high, solid squeak reading. You know, reading in the 70s, so. It's not too deep, and it's not a shotgun shell, <laughs> which I've dug quite a few today. It'll be in that dirt right there. I'm almost positive. We'll just flip it over, and we'll listen to it again. Nope. Well, if it is, it's very small right on top. I suspect... Yeah, I think it was. I think we moved it. All right. Nope. Nope. No. All right, so it's still in a hole. I haven't dug it yet. It might be off just to the side a little bit. No, we moved it. It was here. Very small though, but it's reading really high, so I have hopes for it. Do you? Wow, weird. Can be minuscule. Oh, um, hope that's not foil. Is that foil? I keep moving it back. Oh, there it is, right there. Is that it? No, it's not it. It's got to be right here in my hand. Yeah, let's put it on the ground. Just kind of go through it like that. There it is. It's a bullet. Probably going to be a modern copper jacketed bullet. That's why I was reading so high. Yep, that's exactly what it is. The uh, you know, It has copper on it, naturally. It's lead. You can see the lead in the bottom, but it's surrounded by copper. That's why it was squeaking so loud, so... Sorry. I'm about a hundred yards from where we were finding the uh, melted lead and I found a little silver thing. Uh, um, there's like a saddle here between uh, two hills. And I'm getting a lot of iron so I'm hopeful that there might be a good site here. And as I was coming up here, 
I started hitting a lot of uh, little tiny nails and stuff. I can see this kind of a flat spot right there, so that might have been where there was no cabin. Don't know for sure, but I have a good signal here, and I dug it up. I haven't looked at it, but I don't know if that's it or not. There's something that looks like it's round, so that's probably it. Let's go and take a look at it. Oi. <laughs> Oi. Yeah, that's what it is. That is a, uh, it's iron. I suspect that's like the base to a an old can. I suspect. Oh, it's reinforced like that, but that's probably what it is I'm hearing. Yeah, but we're gonna look around here a little bit more. I don't think that's too terribly old, but we'll keep searching. So we moved from that area uh, where there's a lot of iron that I was just showing you, and uh, we're in a pine forest. This was actually planted back in the 1970s by the state, but I wanted to show you something. If you ever see these type of holes when you're out detecting, it, you know, you can see it's about that wide, very uniform, it goes that way, and a big pile of dirt. This is actually a soil observation hole from when they did a perk test. And a perk test is something that uh, a contractor would do. Well, in my, where I, when I did it, a contractor would do, and they measure how, how fast that the soil can absorb water in order to put in a septic system. Like if it doesn't absorb the water, they can't put in the septic system for a house. This is not actually a perk hole. This is a soil observation hole. They would have had a number of little holes around it, about the size of a fence post hole, um, usually about 18 inches deep, and they'd pour water in it, and they'd measure how fast the water would go down. And if it went down too slow, you couldn't build a house here. Well, at least with a typical septic system, if it went down too fast, same thing. So I just came upon an old road bed going up the hill. Well, somewhere up there, there is a house that shows up on a pre-Civil War map. I don't know if it's on the property we can go to today, but we're going to go ahead and walk this road beside it and see if we can find anything. That's our Rich's road right there, but you can see this dip right here coming through here. It goes on up the hill. That's, a, uh, that's an old road for sure. So I'm a little further up. And there's a big pile of rocks right there. Now, I don't know if that could be a chimney pile or just where the farmer piled the rocks and they're piling the fields. The road bed is kind of like can't really see it too well, but I suspect it just goes right up the hill. We'll see if we can pick it up a little bit further up. So I'm hearing a lot of iron right around uh, these rocks, but I suspect it's just the fence row. And I mainly suspect that because this is a post, I'm pretty sure. And that one is too. So I'm thinking what they did. Oh, yeah, there's wire right there. Look at that. Yeah, it's a round nail, so it's not too awful old. Um, but yeah, so that's a fence, and these rocks might just have been where they piled the rocks up when they plowed the field at one time. That's a really, that's a cedar tree. That thing's old. Wow, that's cool. All right, so we're going to continue on up through here and see if we can find that foundation. So we're kind of heading back across the hill trying to find Rich, which I can hear right below me. And I just came across an old dump, so let's look around. It's a bunch of old cans and barbed wire. Somebody's been picking through them. That's a milk bottle over there. Let's look at that. It's not terribly old, but old enough. Yeah, just a plain one. If it had like the dairy on it, I'd probably go ahead and keep that, but I'm not going to keep that one. <laughs> I don't see any cork tops. Well, there's one. So, yeah, a couple over here, but not very old ones. Um, yes, Listerine or something. Mason jar lid. You find a lot of these when you're out digging. So got the uh, porcelain on the inside. Find a little brown jug? Yeah, come on. <laughs> of course. <laughs> oh, good. Well, there's a whole bunch of them if you want a dozen. Ah, yeah. oh, there's a mason. This is a mason um, uh, jar, canning jar. And this would have gone on top, just like that. If they're blue, they're collectible. These aren't so much collectible. But let's look around and see if there's a good milk bottle. That might be a good milk bottle right there. Or a mayonnaise jar. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, it's an old harness. That's like that rivet that, I show you, that you'll see or have seen in the beginning of the video. Looks just like it. Little brass rivets. You find a lot of those. Let's see what else we can find. A little bit of enamel wear here. A little teapot or coffee pot. See any sponge buckets from the Civil War? 
I don't see any. I'm going to poke around here for just a couple minutes, and if I see anything more interesting than a mason jar lid, I'll show it to you. Might have a good find. That's the uh, harness we were just looking at with the rivets. Looky there. I think it's a Coca-Cola bottle. Coca-Cola. Yeah. Look at that. I've never seen a Coca-Cola. It is Coca-Cola. Coca-Cola. <laughs> it's a Coco. Coco. Yeah, Coca-Cola. Cumberland, Maryland. I don't think I've ever seen one that color. Have you? Well, that's going to end it for me today. Actually heading out because I uh, felt a spasm in my back. And I've had a few surgeries over the years, and that wasn't a good spasm. I was removing rocks yesterday. Uh, so I'm going to go home and grab a few Motrin and chill out for the next few days. So I won't be making any videos, but I'll try to get some edited up for you guys. I saw everything I found, so I'm not going to do a roundup. Uh, the guys are back here still digging, hopefully. Well, they just found a Tom back button from 1700, so I think you're in a good spot. We'll see you on the next video. Thanks for joining me again today. And I'll rock you until I go to sleep. She'll shake the coins from your pocket. Take your gold chain and your locket. Mother Earth has no sympathy. She'll take the ring from your hand and bury it in the sand. Keep it for eternity Mother Earth, she's got her secrets She's promised to keep Hidden in her dirt